<clears throat> all right, this is Brother ICR coming back at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned this truth from. Honors to you, brothers and elders out there, pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom on to the aqua that's listening and learning. Now, today, man, just want to get into a topic talking about uh, brothers will uplift your spirits, man. You know, uh, being part of the brotherhood is very important, you know, because uh, going through these times, man, and realizing what's to come and realizing everything that's about to happen, I man, you're going to need like-minded people around you, man, because uh, if you're in this by yourself, if you're part of the elect, you're going to stay in this spirit regardless, but, you know, uh, doing, you know, until these things start happening, man, you know, it's very important to have conversations with brothers, very important to be around them, you know, um, uh, meet up with them and everything like that, because uh, brothers will uplift you, man, because, you know, when you're dealing with this, these things by yourself, man, you know, uh, demons will definitely try to attack you even harder and everything like that, man, and, you know, stuff is, can just get wild, man, you know, uh, uh, you know, when the demons start trying to attack you, you know, you can be down to yourself a lot of times and thinking about thing, uh, your life and what's going on and 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 then next thing you know uh uh you have the scriptures to comfort you and everything like that but at the same time man you know brothers will uplift you just like when you see uh camp videos you know you got the one brother who will he'll start the camp and then out of nowhere you know he might uplift his voice a little louder so then brothers can get in the spirit and they can realize like hey man it's, it's camp time you know, it's time to tell these people what's going on. It's time to tell these people the good news and all of that, man. And uh, that gets you in the spirit, man. That keeps you uh, humble and and it, and it gets you uh, it gets you straight, man. It keeps you uh, focused. You know, it's kind of it, it keep, uh, brothers will make sure you stay disciplined within this, man. You know, because uh, it's very rare for you to find a woman as it is. It's going to be in the righteous spirits. And then if you do find one, man, you know, it's still not the same. You know, you talk to her about certain things and everything like that, man. But it's not like uh, it has, if you was having a conversation with, a, with a, uh, another brother, man, you know. Uh, uh, you know, there is going to be a few women that's going to believe and everything like that. And if you don't have anybody, you know, if you do have a woman that believe, then, I, I mean, that's cool. You know, at least you can talk about these certain things or whatever, because once you get out the world, man, you really don't want to talk about nothing else, you know? You don't want to talk about, you know, what's going on in this world as far as, like, pleasures or entertainment or anything like that, man. Our mind is focused on prophecy. So, um, you know, that's what we meditate on day in and day out, man, as soon as you wake up and right before you go to sleep all and all, and in, all in between, man, you know? So it's very important. Now, we stay around brothers, man, you know, send messages to each other, you know, speak to each other. If you can meet up, meet up with them, especially now, man, because it's going to get to a point where we ain't going to be able to do that, man. You know, it's going to get to a point where things are going to get ugly out here, man. It's going to get ugly and we all going to be alone, man. We're going to have to follow our faith. We're going to have to show you how about Shim you how shy that we're on his side, man. We have to show him like, hey, man, look. I'm not going to take this chip. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. You know, but uh, in the back of your mind, though, know, you know, you know that other brothers are going through the same things as you, man, because the, t the, t the scriptures teach us all to be a part of one accord. So it might be certain things that you might be going through. But remember, man, brothers are going through the same thing, man, because we're all in this together as far as the elect goes, as far as the ones that's trying to be a part of the elect trying to be part of the elect at that man you know so we got to make sure you know uh we speak to each other you know do whatever we can do whenever we can do it man because i mean you know we ain't we already don't have any freedom but our, our little piece of freedom even that's about to be taken away soon man so we gotta we gotta you know stay around each other as much as we possibly can man so we can make sure and we and you know brothers will remind you like, hey, man, yeah, I'm in this thing, and yeah, there's other brothers that's in this thing, too. And they over here suffering just like me. So, hey, man, we got to remember that. So let's jump right into the, the scriptures, man. <clears throat> um, Baruch 2 and 30. 
And it says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Con, we shall remember ourselves within our captivity, man. Remember that we're Israelites. And the reason why I got this scripture, man, is because, you know, it's a beautiful thing. I'm over here looking at a lot of the brothers' videos um, the past few days. And, um, and you know, ran into, I think there was an uh, uh, Issachar camp. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not exactly sure who they were, but hey, it was a Northern Kingdom camp, you know, and uh, and their whole channel was this, you know, you just see them speaking in Spanish, like they'll, you know, they'll speak in English or whatever, probably like at the beginning of the video, but, you know, other, uh, but nonetheless, man, you know, they spoke Spanish throughout the whole video, so, you know, I, I ain't watched all of it, but, um, you know, the whole camp was this straight Northern Kingdom, man, you know, you see so many uh, Southern Kingdom uh, brothers out here, but don't get me wrong. You see Northern Kingdom mixed up with a lot of these camps now too, but you know it was just a beautiful thing just to see that because um we're waking up, man. We remember we're remembering ourselves, man. You will we're seeing the brotherhood come together, and that's what I was talking about earlier, man. We're seeing we're seeing each other come together, man, and you know it's just you know because we don't preach uh Black Hebrew Israelites, man. We preach Israelites. We're all Israelites, you know, from from Judah down to Issachar, man. It's northern and southern kingdom, man, and it's beautiful seeing us come together. So when you see these videos with the different nations, the different, um, I'm sorry, the Salakia, the different, different tribes come together, man, it's beautiful, man. It makes you want to um, speak to them. It makes you want to leave a comment on their videos and everything like that, man, because, you know, uh, before you got to the truth, you know, uh, you you grew up and around who you grew up around. Like for instance, me, I grew up around nothing but Judah, Judah, and you know, and that's all that was around my neighborhood. You can go down to Issachar or um or Ephraim's neighborhood, but you know, majority of the time, man, we just chilled around Judah. But now, you know, that we're remembering ourselves, man, we're I'm, you know we're starting to recognize each other as brothers. And that's what the point, man. We recognize we're acknowledging each other as brothers, man. And that's keeping us in the spirit, man, because we starting to see our people wake up, man. We starting to see the elect wake up. And so I'm like, man, you got to stay a part of the brotherhood, man. You got to stay a part of this and be like, look, you know, they suffering with me, man. So let me speak to them so then I can, you know, get some like minded people. I can, you know, survive doing this shit, man. Then it says, uh. Hold on one second. Oh, okay. Let me get, Rev uh, not Revelation, uh, Matthew. Matthew 12 and 48. <clears throat> it says, but he answered and said it to them. Hold on, Salakia. Let me see if I can start. Okay, let me start at 47. It says, then one said it to him, behold. Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered the Santa to him that told him. Now this is Yahweh started speaking about his mother. It says, But he answered the Santa to him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. Kind. See? You know what I'm saying? Even because when you get into this truth, man, you don't even acknowledge your own family as your family, man. You acknowledge the brothers as your family. The brothers are your, your true family now, man, because they're the ones that knows what's going on, just like you. They're the ones who's suffering, just like you. They're the ones that's trying to get into these scriptures and teach, just like you. They're the ones who's battling demons and, and, and whoever's around them that's uh, trying to bring them down, just like you. Because they're trying to follow the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, just like you, man. That's so why I'm like, you know, this is the true family, man. This is, you know, this is like the other brothers posted a couple of days ago, the family reunion. This is the family, the true family reunion, man. Fuck that, you know, saying in the world bullshit when the family reunion gets together and have a barbecue with all kind of abominable foods and all them things, man. You know, saying smoking and shit. This is the true brotherhood. This is the true family reunion, man. That's what I'm like, man, you know, stay around brothers, man. You know, constantly, constantly do that, man, because this is all we got, man. 
We got Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, ultimately, you know, but the brotherhood is who we have here, you know, you know, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah is going to look after his elect, but you know, uh, they're not here with us physically, they're here with, with, with us spiritually, you know, and that's a beautiful thing, but he said our brothers, so then we can acknowledge each other, so we can help uplift each other on a daily basis, man, and so that's what I'm like, hey, <laughs> That's like how Shot said. He said, hey, that's not my mother. That's not my brother. You know what I'm saying? Or sister. Hey, th these are the disciples. The ones that's with me, man. And, and hey, and that's what we that's what we trying to do, man. We trying to stay in the will, stay in the spirit so we can uh, complete the will of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. You know? So now let's jump in there. We're gonna get Romans. 15 and 14 and it says and i myself also am persuaded of you my brethren that ye are also full of goodness filled with all knowledge able also to admonish one another nevertheless brethren i have written the more boldly unto you with some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of yahweh um let me see now I shall be the minister of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of Yahweh, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Now, kind. Now, you know, we acknowledge each other, uh, filled with knowledge, able also to admonish, admonish one another. You know, we uplift our spirits, man. We, you know, we acknowledge each other, so then you know we can, uh, and we forgive each other, man. You know, because we already know we're still in this flesh, so. Uh, all of us going to slip up from time to time, man. And, you know, brothers will be around to correct you within a righteous way, man. You know, do what you uh, do according to what needs to be done from your situation and everything like that. And that's a good thing, man. You know, saying the brothers will be here to correct you. The brothers will be here to make sure you stand up straight as a man so you can continue be, to be a soldier for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You know, saying preaching to the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles, man? The Gentiles are the Israelites. That were there, um, there are Israelites that think that they're something else, you know. Israelites are in foreign places, you know, just like uh, we all were Gentiles at one point, you know. We were born here in America, we were called black and everything like that, or Mexican, Puerto Rican, whatever the case may be, American, African American, you know, all these things, man. But that's not who we are, man. We're Israelites. We're, we're Judites, Issacharites, Ephraimites, so forth and so on. So we were Gentiles, pre preaching to the Gentiles. So we come out of that Gentile state of mind, man, you know? And we're seeing a lot of brothers do that now, man. We're still doing that now. We're doing that now until the elect is sealed, man. Because as soon as the elect is sealed, then we out of here. That's why, you know, we stay a part of the brotherhood. So now let's get... um. First Corinthians. Fourteen. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get to the point with this one. This first Corinthians fourteen and twenty uh, fourteen and twenty. It says, Brethren, be not children in understanding, how be it. And malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. Hey, man, be men. And that's all I was just speaking about earlier. You, you know, we got to be men. We got to be soldiers within this thing, man. And we will remind each other of that every day, man. Like, we can't be soft around these people when it's camp time. You know, we can't be um, all down in the spirits when we make videos and everything like that, man. You know, each brother has a different vibration when they do their videos, man. You know, because we're all different spirits, man. We're all different personalities. And, you know, uh, and, and for that case, man, you know, you might uh, have a, a certain videos that you'll have a go to. You'd be like, yeah, I want to listen to this brother or something like that. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, man, you know, we want to listen to all of our all of the brothers. You know, we want to listen to everybody, because if everybody's trying to speak about the same thing, man, like I said, we'll uh, look at everybody's videos so then we can uplift each other, you know, because it might be brothers that's brand new. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like it might be brothers that's brand new into this thing, man. And, you know, they'll 
need that spirit. They'll need that push, man, so then they can keep building themselves within the spirit. And that's what we're here for. That's what the brothers are here for, man, to build each other within the spirit, you know, because uh, we're looking, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is looking for the teachers. He's looking for the ones that's trying to be out here doing the will for him, man, doing this work. And the brothers will make sure you do it if you have that spirit, that humble enough sp uh, spirit, you know. If you're very serious about this thing, man, brothers will help you out, man. Brothers be like, okay, look, you know, it's all good. I'll get to it to this brother, man. You know, he can do videos with me or put uh, take him to the side, you know, teach him some scriptures, teach him some precepts and everything like that. You know, just help build his spirit up, man. We need to bring him around, around men. But in understanding, be men. We are not children, man. You know, we're not uh, we're not little boys, man. Yahweh Shai is not looking. Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai is not looking for little boys, man. He's he's looking for men, real men, you know, to come out here and handle this business, man. How much do you believe in Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai? Okay, now let me get uh. Now this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 10. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, with eternal glory. Kind. We do all things for the elect's sake. Who are the elect? The brothers. <laughs> it's saying 144,000 men, you know? So we do all things for the elect's sake. We are out here to uplift our spirits for, uh, within the brothers, man. We out here for the brothers, man, the men, you know, we got to come out here and do what, what what needs to be done, you know, for the elect's sake, you know, because the elect are the ones who's going to start the kingdom of heaven, man. The elect is going to be the one to hit that switch so this place can go down, you know, without the elect, man, we'll be here forever. But hey, man, we're out here pu pushing this word so we can make sure we get out of here, man, and we seeing that we're getting closer and closer and closer. You know, uh, how about this up, man, by the end of this year, man, you know, or even sooner, man, this place is things are starting happening, you know, things have been happening, but hey, this is nothing, man. Like I said, it's still calm. This is still calm, man. People still going for their day to day lives. Okay. But it's going to become a time where it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be like that, man. And like I said, who we going to need around those times, man, we going to need the scriptures and we going to need. Our brothers, man, we gonna need to remember, like, hey, okay, this is the time. Be like, oh shit, you know, uh, things are happening. First thing you gonna do is, you know, <laughs> call brothers. Be like, hey, this is it. This is it. I, <laughs> you know, this is it. I, we gotta get ready, man, because you ain't gonna keep this to yourself. You gonna want to speak to this about to somebody, the brethren, man. And you how it rots us out. We part of the elect. Now, I'm gonna close it with this, man. First uh, Timothy, no, Second Timothy, one and seven. Uh, it says, "For the Most High has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, His prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel, according to the power of Yahweh by sending out shot." Con. I'm going to read that uh, one verse again, verse 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Don't be ashamed of the testimony, and, and but be thou partaker of the afflictions. See, man, when you get into this truth, man, you prepare yourself for afflictions. You prepare yourself for demons. You prepare yourself for the wickedness, man, because this is a spiritual battle. You know, it'd be a lot of times, man, you know, uh, you can't be around brothers, man. You just can't do it because of this life. You know, you got jobs, man. You got families. You got things that's going on, man, and all these other things, but you just can't be around them. That's why it's a good thing that, you know, you got like group, group chats or messages or uh, YouTube. You know, and things like this, man, who we constantly uploading videos, we constantly leaving comments, you know, doing all these certain things, man. Because like I said, man, we all we got. Other than you how about Shim, you how shy, man. We all we got, man. We don't we the ones that's gonna be out here trying to uh like I said, wake up the elect. We the ones that's out here speaking about these things, man. You know, we need to be if we're all part of one accord, man, then hey, 
you know, we got to act like it. We got to, you know, saying, be a part of each other, man. Speak to each other. Salute each other. You know what I'm saying? So our spirits can be uplifted, man. So we can keep reminding ourselves, like, hey, man, we are in this truth, man. We are in this truth. In this truth. We scattered abroad, you know. So his brothers waking up that's in, like, in smaller towns and, and shit, man. You know, but they not might, might might not be in the bigger cities and everything or uh, whatever. But, uh, you know, they're seeing the videos and all of that. And, man, you know, they might be part of the elect. You never know. But, and, and you know, but it ain't no, it's not really camps in smaller cities, man. All of the camps are always built up within the major cities, you know. But, hey, man, you know, uh, if the spirit is with you, man, the spirit will guide you to be with those brothers, man. Or the spirit will keep you part of the brotherhood through the videos and everything like that, you know. So, like I said, man, we got to keep uplifting each other, man. Keep being out here for each other, man. You know, stay in the spirit and uh, make sure we out here doing the will of you. How about Shimmy? How was Sean, man? Because we almost out of here and we got to keep reminding ourselves of that every day, man. So with that, I'm going to say, call her law, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kodash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honestly, you elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, be back with another lesson. Shalom.